Welcome to the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report, hosted by Craig Dawson, Vice President, Soul Pit Media. Hello and welcome to the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report. Today's special guest is Margaret Davis, tax clerk with Duquesne Light Company. Margaret, welcome to the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report. Hello, and thank you for inviting me. Now, Margaret, what career path did you take to achieve your present position with Duquesne Light Company? Well, let me give you a little background about I've worked in healthcare, home health care field, fast food restaurants, housekeeping, retail stores, all of that prior to Duquesne Light. I found myself a single mother of two enrolled in CCAC to get my associates in accounting and set myself up to go to Robert Morris to complete my bachelor's, but I needed to get a job. So I went to the career center at CCAC and they had a listing for Duquesne Light as a part-time auto dollar. And auto dollar makes outgoing calls from the company to the customers about their electric bill. Never thought anything about working in the utility in- industry. I knew I wanted to do accounting because I can take it anywhere. But 27 years later, I'm still a Duquesne Light. I completed my bachelor's degree, took some master classes in taxation, but it's a wonderful place to work. My current position is a tax clerk. It is a union position in the finance department. So you are truly an example of it's not where you start off, it's truly where you end up in life. Now, Margaret, can you talk to our listeners a little bit about your job as a tax clerk with Duquesne Light Company? Sure. You think about it, everybody is a consumer, um, not just people, but companies, corporations, anytime you buy anything, you have to pay taxes. And when you mention taxes, most people think it's a boring, non-interesting subject, but I love it. Always changing. It's always new matter to learn. I deal with sales and use tax. Everybody in Pennsylvania is subject to tax. Some of it is based on when you purchase a product, how you're going to use it. For instance, our linemen who work on the utility lines, When we buy products for them, it's going to be used directly in the transmission and distribution of electricity. Things like that are tax exempt. If it is a computer or a laptop or cell phone, just as we regular people would have to pay taxes on it, Duquesne Light would have to pay taxes on it. That's what I deal with. I also pay real estate taxes on Duquesne Lights property for school taxes, county taxes, city taxes. I keep track of customer accounts. If you have a residential account, you're tax exempt. If you're a business, large or small, you have to pay sales tax on your bill and any purchases that Duquesne Light make. You know, keep track of them to make sure that We're paying sales tax on items we're supposed to and not being charged on sales tax on items we're not supposed to be paying on. Um, If you think about it, it's like when you rent a car and you look at the bill and you'll see all those taxes on your cell phone bill. In the state of Pennsylvania, when you're buying clothes, we don't pay sales tax on clothes. But if you go buy some electronics, you have to pay sales tax. And same thing with property tax. If you're a homeowner, You know, you have to pay property tax to the county and the city. School taxes, that's what I deal with for Duquesne Light. Mark, it sounds really like an interesting job. I mean, when you say tax clerk, most people think, as you stated earlier, it's just pretty much cut and dry. But when you kind of walk me through everything that, you know, you're looking for, the information that some things are tax exempt, some things aren't. It sounds like this is a job that's very interesting and also behind the scenes, somewhat exciting. Yeah, it is because things change as tax laws change and things like that. So every day is a learning experience. We're always learning something new. So it it keeps you on your toes and it's very interesting. Yes, uh, uh, Margaret, I also understand that giving back to the community is a very important part of the culture at Duquesne Light Company. Now, personally, what does volunteering mean to you? That's something that's very near and dear to my heart. 
I've been volunteering since I was a teenager. So when I got to Duquesne Light and found out that they had a strong culture for giving back, I just felt at home. When people ask me, oh, you work for Duquesne Light Company, when they'll ask me questions, one of the things that I brag about is that culture of giving, the volunteering and the donating that the company does. For instance, from from 2020 to 2023 present, I've been involved with 34 events for a total of 75 hours. 2020, of course, because of COVID was, you know, not so great, but we're starting to get back up to speed and being able to do more and help out and do things. I just found out that I'm one of Duquesne Light's champion volunteers and like, I'm so honored. And we do everything from buying items off of a wish list for an organization to United Way events, packing books to send to different schools, building playgrounds. My favorite is at Christmas time. It's a event called Presents for Patients, where we get wish lists for the patients at one of the local VA hospitals. We go shopping per their wish list, and then a group of us go and we actually give the gifts to the patients. That experience is just amazing. We do it every year. Again, COVID kind of messed us up for a couple of years, but the joy that they get and knowing that I was a part of that for just one day, it, it's just the best. It's just amazing. It just brings that Christmas and holiday season giving, it just brings it home for me. It is my favorite event every year, and I look forward to it, and we've been doing it for a long time and we're going to continue to do it. We'll be right back with the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report. It doesn't matter. The time, nor the place. The conditions, or transitions, doesn't matter. Who you are, or who you're with. Before, now, and always through all phases of life. Duquesne Light Company is here for you. Port Authority has a new name. Pittsburgh Regional Transit, PRT for short. It's all about doing an even better job of getting people where they want to go every day. It's also about getting people where they want to go in their careers. PRT is looking for some new faces. We're hiring for every position. We offer great pay and benefits and a direct route to a great future. Go to rideprt.org slash careers. PRT is an equal opportunity employer. Looking for a cost-effective way to help increase your company's bottom line? Look no further than Soul Pit Media. With our award-winning print, internet, podcasts, and Soul Pit television options, we can help your business get to that next level. For more information, contact Craig Dawson at 412-407-7685. That's 412-407-7685. And let Soul Pit Media take you to that next level. UPMC is committed to addressing the health disparities that disproportionately impact African Americans in our communities. By driving education, training, and programming, and building relationships with our community partners, we can ensure that all individuals and families have access to the preventive care, screenings, and treatment that can lead to healthier lives. Learn more at upmc.com slash health disparities. Yeah, who's this? Don Stogie, it's me, Nick the Nub. Nicky, my boy, what you got for me? Boss, I got the bundle on some bad news about your best customer, Sammy Sticks. What, sleeping with the fishes? Nah, he's still with Wanda, but he's been herfing with the Cigar Fathers. The Cigar Fathers? Nah, boss, Cigar Fathers, you know. Friendly, knowledgeable staff, live outdoor patio jams, and a wide selection of cigars and cigar accessories. Oh, how do you know so much about this place? Well, boss, because I've been coming back all week. What? Hey, hey, I'm sorry, Don Stogie, but with everything Cigar Fathers is offering, I couldn't refuse. The future of transit is now, and we are working to improve your ride. Look for bus tracking technologies and other innovations to keep you better informed. Getting around town has never been so easy. 
PortAuthority.org. Do you like entertainment that provides diverse programming? Well, there's a new radio station that provides exactly that. Yes, Pittsburgh's diverse sports and entertainment network provides a mixed radio format and is the place for soulful music, sports talk, and lifestyle programming. Check us out at pghdsen.com. You'll be able to find our radio schedule with all of our exciting entertainment programs. Listen now by going to pghdsen.com. Did you know that STD rates have increased in Allegheny County? No, I did not. Yeah, especially for people under 30. Mm, maybe I should go get tested. In Allegheny County, symptomatic syphilis cases increased by 97% and gonorrhea cases by 18% in the past year. And having multiple STDs increases your chances of getting HIV. Oh, wow. Do you know where I can go get tested? The Public Health Clinic offers free walk-in STD and HIV screening located at 1908 Wiley Avenue, Pittsburgh, PA. 15219. It looks like I know what I'm doing tomorrow, getting tested, and I'll make sure to spread the word. For more information, call 412-578-8081 or visit AlleghenyCounty.us forward slash HIV. We're back with the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report. Now, Margaret, this is one of the things that I love about this podcast because we try to go behind the scenes with employees from some of the larger companies in the city and the surrounding area, because so many times, if a company does one thing wrong, that's all they talk about, okay? But when a company such as Duquesne Light Company is doing the right thing and trying to make inroads into the community, that needs to be highlighted too. And you're just a perfect example of why we do this show, because the employees that I've met on the podcast from Duquesne Light Company. You guys have an exceptional group of minority employees that are really trying to make a difference in not only the city, but the surrounding area. And I definitely applaud you and your company for the work that you're doing in the city. Now, Margaret, when people think about being a part of a union, the first thing that comes to mind is some type of trade or blue collar job. Can you talk to our listeners about the other types of union jobs and how all of these teams work together to achieve a common goal for Duquesne Light? Yes. Duquesne Light's main focus is to get the electricity to the customers. Most people think of only the field people that they see, the linemen, the meter readers, you know, the troubleshooters in the Duquesne Light vehicles that they see out and about in the community. But there are many jobs that make up that team of union employees, and we are union employees of local 29 IBEW. It also makes up office people. You have office people, shop people, the trades, everything from supply clerks, carpenters, plumbers, electricians, mechanics, to office employees such as timekeepers, payroll clerks, positions that all support our field personnel. But then you also have positions that support our customers, our CSRs, our billing clerks, universal services. Those are the ones that help people with low income find different programs to help them with their utility bills. And supplier services, you now can go out and shop for electricity, but we all play a part in making sure that you can flip your lights on at will. We do everything from ordering supplies for the field workers, offices and properties to construction, repairing for offices, facilities, mechanics, fix our vehicles, machinery, everything and anything that has to do with getting out electricity to our customers, we play a part in. And probably more than half the positions at Duquesne Light, I would say, are union positions. There's a whole bunch of positions that are in office that you just never see, but we're there. And that's a very good point to our young listeners. If you're looking for a career and not a job, Duquesne Light Company is an excellent company to work for, and you are a part of a union and have union rights and benefits. And in today's economy, that's a really good point of emphasis as far as if you're looking for a career and not just a job. 
Yes, it's definitely a career choice. I've been there for 27 years, and it'll be 27 years this Saturday. And if you would ask me 27 years ago when I worked for a utility company, I'd have told you no. But because of the union, it allowed me to provide a better life for myself and my children. So I would definitely say don't count a union position out of your future opportunities. Now, Margaret, we always love to end our shows on a positive note, and especially with emphasis on our youth. Now, Margaret, what advice would you give our young listeners, especially young listeners of color who may want to follow in your footsteps at Duquesne Light and be the next Margaret Davis? First thing I'm going to say is never say never. 27 years later, I'm still here. I'm going to be retiring from Duquesne Light probably in about five years. So never say never. Two, think outside the box. Don't think of traditional gender roles um, when you're thinking about future career opportunities. I know women who are linemen, and I know men that are nurses. So don't put yourself in a box. Think outside the box. Personally, I believe people, when they're looking for their future job careers, that they do that with three things in mind. The first one is, what are you passionate about? When you're looking at a career, it's something you're going to do long term. So you want something that you're going to enjoy doing, you're going to get some kind of rewarding feeling from, and and you're going to give it your all. So the first thing is, what are you passionate about? The second thing is, we all have those skills that we don't even know sometimes that we have. You might be good at something that is a skill that you can put and make yourself marketable to get a job and use that, whether you have to go to school for it or it's just a natural ability that you have, tap into that. Number three, there may be a job that looks interesting. You do some research and hmm, maybe I can do this. Yeah, don't put yourself in a box. Explore all your opportunities. Ask questions. Do your research. And as far as Duquesne Light goes, Duquesne Light is an excellent place to work. There's some things that they offer you, tuition reimbursement. Um, There are many employees there, union employees who went back to school, Duquesne Light, you know, paid for it. You know, some of them have degrees, have moved on to management. Duquesne Light and CCAC currently have a program called Electrical Distribution Technology Course. It is a one-year program where you will get classroom and on-the-job training to be a lineman or field worker. They help you prepare to take your CAS test, the construction and skills trade exam. If you get into the program and you're successful, Duquesne Light covers 100% of the tuition for all successful applicants. And you also have the opportunity to get a job at Duquesne Light and get your CDL. Whatever you're looking to do in the future, put a utility company on your list. Well, I I totally agree with you because actually I had an interview with a gentleman who had went through the Lyman training program. And when he told me how much they started him off at and how much he made with overtime being on call, it made me wish that I was a little younger. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. (laughs) To, you know, look into that. And I found my interviews with employees at Duquesne Light to be very informative and informational and mm-hmm. it gave me a totally different view of your company and what you are actually doing in the community to make Pittsburgh a better city for all of its residents and I truly applaud that and I applaud you and I want to thank you for taking time out of your very busy schedule to be a guest today. Well thank you. I'm really honored to be able to speak with you today. And hopefully, if this helps just one middle school student, high school student, young adult, look into the possibility of working for Duquesne Light, then I'm glad I did it. We are so glad that you did it too. And once again, want to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to be a guest with us today. You're very welcome. We'll be right back with the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report. It doesn't matter. The time, nor the place. The conditions, or transitions, doesn't matter. 
who you are or who you're with. Before, now, and always. Through all phases of life. Duquesne Light Company is here for you. Port Authority has a new name. Pittsburgh Regional Transit, PRT for short. It's all about doing an even better job of getting people where they want to go every day. It's also about getting people where they want to go in their careers. PRT is looking for some new faces. We're hiring for every position. We offer great pay and benefits and a direct route to a great future. Go to rideprt.org slash careers. PRT is an equal opportunity employer. Looking for a cost-effective way to help increase your company's bottom line? Look no further than Soul Pit Media. With our award-winning print, internet, podcasts, and Soul Pit television options, we can help your business get to that next level. For more information, contact Craig Dawson at 412-407-7685. That's 412-407-7685. And let Soul Pit Media take you to that next level. UPMC is committed to addressing the health disparities that disproportionately impact African Americans in our communities. By driving education, training, and programming, and building relationships with our community partners, we can ensure that all individuals and families have access to the preventive care, screenings, and treatment that can lead to healthier lives. Learn more at upmc.com slash health disparities. Don Stogie, it's me, Nick the Nub. Nicky, my boy, what you got for me? Boss, I got the bundle on some bad news about your best customer, Sammy Sticks. What, sleeping with the fishes? Nah, he's still with Wanda, but he's been herfing with the Cigar Fathers. The Cigar Fathers? Nah, boss, Cigar Fathers, you know. Friendly, knowledgeable staff, live outdoor patio jams, and a wide selection of cigars and cigar accessories. Oh, how do you know so much about this place? Well, boss, because I've been coming back all week. What? Hey, hey, I'm sorry, Don Stogie, but with everything Cigar Fathers is offering, I couldn't refuse. The future of transit is now, and we are working to improve your ride. Look for bus tracking technologies and other innovations to keep you better informed. Getting around town has never been so easy. PortAuthority.org Do you like entertainment that provides diverse programming? Well, there's a new radio station that provides exactly that. Yes, Pittsburgh's diverse sports and entertainment network provides a mixed radio format and is the place for soulful music, sports talk, and lifestyle programming. Check us out at pghdsen.com. You'll be able to find our radio schedule with all of our exciting entertainment programs. Listen now by going to pghdsen.com. Did you know that STD rates have increased in Allegheny County? No, I did not. Yeah, especially for people under 30. Mm, maybe I should go get tested. In Allegheny County, symptomatic syphilis cases increased by 97% and gonorrhea cases by 18% in the past year. And having multiple STDs increases your chances of getting HIV. Oh, wow. Do you know where I can go get tested? The Public Health Clinic offers free walk-in STD and HIV screening located at 1908 Wiley Avenue, Pittsburgh, PA. 15219. It looks like I know what I'm doing tomorrow, getting tested, and I'll make sure to spread the word. For more information, call 412-578-8081 or visit AlleghenyCounty.us forward slash HIV. We're back with the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report. Hi, this is Debbie Norell, and welcome to the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report Community Calendar. Attention vendors, there is a vendor opportunity open for the Pittsburgh Soul Food Festival, a soulful taste of the Berg. Email stvfestivalvendor at gmail.com to register to vend at the annual Soul Food Festival. Festival days are September 1st through September 3rd inside Market Square and PPG Plaza. Each day at 11 a.m. until 9 p.m., there will be live bands, national entertainment, 
cultural activities, a food contest, and more. Are you interested in health and wellness? Are you ready to kickstart healthy habits? Researchers at the University of Pittsburgh are conducting a research study to understand how exercise affects the brain and recently depressed older adults. You must be at least the age of 60 to participate. You may be invited to participate in an exercise program or a social wellness program. Both groups will be facilitated by a personal coach. Compensation is provided. Call 412-246-6487 or visit fitbold2 at upmc.edu. The Morgan Lee Arts Center, Pittsburgh's newest event space for the arts, is available at 2900 Bedford Avenue, Pittsburgh, PA 15219. This event space offers space for party rentals, meeting rooms, dance studio rental, outdoor events, rehearsal space, cabarets, concerts, repass, has free Wi-Fi and free parking. This is a place to let your creativity be free. For rental information, visit www.5678.com hdat.org slash rentals or call 412-925-3695. Pittsburgh Regional Transit is improving transit for every rider. They are adding QR codes to bus signs so you will know when your bus will arrive, making it easier to get on board with their mobile ticketing app and investing in all electric buses to help reduce emissions today to help improve air quality tomorrow. Yes, PRT is making changes, but more importantly, they are making a difference. Don't forget to visit thesoulpit.com for the latest in theater, musical entertainment, job opportunities, and health information. That's thesoulpit.com. Thank you for listening to the Pulpit Media Health and Business Report brought to you by Pittsburgh Regional Transit. Looking for a great job with benefits? Check out their website, rideprt.org slash careers. Thank you for tuning in to the Pulpit Media Health and Business Report hosted by Craig Dawson, Vice President, Pulpit Media. Thank you, Pittsburgh, for your continued support.